Hey, this is Lewis from Oxygen, and welcome to Design Rules, where I talk about simple ways to improve your designs. Today we're going to be talking about the typography of the body text on your pages. So I have a page here, and who wants to read this text, right? It's difficult to read, it looks horrible. Whereas if you look at an article on medium.com, the typography is beautiful, it's easy to read, it's inviting. So let's go ahead and tweak this to make it look good. So the first thing we're gonna do is increase the size of the text. 16 is a typical default used by web browsers and it's just not big enough. So let's crank this font size up a lot to something reasonable. Of course, this is too big. So 21 in this font, 20 or 21, looks like a reasonable choice. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is adjust our line length. Right now, the user's eye has to go from here, left side of the page, all the way to the right side of the page. And then, when they get to a new line, it has to jump all the way back to the left side of the page. And it's just too much distance for the eye to cover. It makes it difficult to actually read the article. So we're gonna shorten up the line length. Now, a good rule of thumb is to use between two and three alphabets for a line length. So I'm gonna write out an alphabet here. And here is what, we're gonna target about two and a half alphabets. So here's what uh, three alphabets look like. So we want a line length about this long. Now there are two ways we could achieve this. We could crank up the font size, but by the time we get the result we want, it's obvious that this font is far too large for body copy. So the other thing we can do is narrow the content itself. So let's go ahead and tone down the width. Let's try about 800. And that's pretty close. Let's tone this down a little bit. And once we're at 760, that seems like a perfect width here. And that's looking much better already. Now the next thing I wanna do is use a serif font. A serif font is gonna lead more gravity, more authority to your words. Serif fonts have more of an editorial feel to them. So instead of using Open Sans, I'm gonna choose Cormorant Garamond. And you'll notice that instantly the article looks like it has more authority. It looks like something would be printed in the editorial section of a newspaper. Now, you'll notice that changing the font actually has messed with our line length a little bit because every font is different. And this font is just a little bit smaller in 21 pixel height than the previous font. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the font size a little bit, but to actually get our line height right, this font size feels a little too big. So. Instead of turning it up, I'm just gonna narrow the content width just a little bit more here. So instead of 760, let's try about 740, maybe even 730. And this is looking pretty good. Now the last thing we wanna do is adjust our line spacing, line height. That's the amount of space between each line. Right now, it's just feeling a little bit loose. There's too much space between the top of the text on one line and the bottom of the text on another line. So we're gonna tighten this up a little bit. A good rule of thumb is to use about 1.4 times the pixel height of the font, but it depends on the font you're using. So here's what a line height of one looks like. It's very tight. Top of this is lined up right with the bottom of that. Too tight. Whereas two is obviously far too loose. This is more like the amount of space you'd want between a paragraph. So I'm gonna go ahead and try 1.4. Looks good, 1.5, maybe a little loose. 1.3, a little tight. 1.35, maybe a teeny bit tight. So let's go with the line height of 1.4 there. And there we go. Our article looks a million times better with just a few simple tweaks. So if you like this video, check the YouTube description for a link to many more videos with tips just like this one. And you're probably already using Oxygen, which is the design software shown in this video. But if not, go to oxygenbuilder.com and check that out. It is the ultimate way to build WordPress websites visually. Again, this is Lewis from Oxygen, and thank you very much for watching Design Rules.